hi y'all welcome back to my channel my name is marion bruce in case you didn't know that i am a Ghanaian based menswear fashion designer long time no see and i am back to stay today's tutorial is going to be on how to make a very simple wedding bill so before we get into it i just want you to take a minute pause and then get to know what a veil is what does a veil represent and then the purpose of wearing a veil so you can pause it and read it in case you are interested so this is a veil size guide you can pause or you can take a screenshot and then have a look at it so this is going to guide you through your process of making the veil so this is a picture of what a veil looks like in case you didn't know so this is also a cathedral veil this is also another type of veil this is also another type of veil. There are so many types. So these are my five simple steps in making or achieving a veil. I'll be taking you through the steps one after the other. But for the meantime, these are the tools you're going to need to make your veil. Yes, I got this picture from Pinterest. So this is not mine. The first step is to measure and cut the material. So this is where the veil size chart comes in. You're going to go with whatever length your client wants. So whatever length she wants is what you are going to use to measure and then cut the tool. So here I used four yards because my client said she wanted a cathedral veil. So I used four yards of net. And this is just a normal um, 60, 60 inches um length we have the 120 inches so that's double length but i just decided to go for this length so we have two types we have this normal length and then we have the double length yes so here what we are doing is um we just folded the two into two so after we folded it again so you're going to fold your two into four parts as you can see, if you watch what we are doing, you're going to understand it very clearly. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be trimming off the rough part of the net. That's the edge. And the aim is to get rid of the corners, okay? So you see how I have smoothed out the edge of the net. That is what you want to achieve. Again, I'm going to be taking off that selvage part of the net because we don't want that part. It doesn't look neat, it's rough. The next step is to create the blusher. So the blusher is the excess fabric that covers the bride's face. I'm going to keep this part and come back to it later. The third step is to attach the beading or the trim. So if you have any lace trimmings, you have beads, you have crystals, you have stones, this is where you attach them. The reason for attaching your trimming stones or whatever embellishment you want to use is to enable you differentiate the right side from the wrong side so this part is very important if you're not going to embellish your um, veil then you can just go ahead and then create your blusher but if you're going to be applying decorations onto the veil then you need to apply them first before you create your blusher and it has a reason i'm going to get back to it very soon Here yeah, I'm just applying my pearls onto the veil using the pearl machine. So this gives the veil a nicer look, a more luxurious look. So you can apply as many pearls as you want or as little as you want depending on the design that you're going for and also what your bride wants. So after you are done, the fourth step is to make your goddess to create your blusher as well. So in creating the goddess, depending on the measurements that you took of your bride mine was 30 inches 
so i'm just going to mark that 30 inches so the blusher is the part of the net that covers the bright face okay and in order to get this measurement you're simply going to measure from the tip of the head or wherever she holds her ponytail you're going to measure from that point to about two inches before her navel some brides like it a bit shorter some brides like it longer so you're going to communicate to your bride ask her how she wants it and then you're going to tape the measurement style better still you can also reference back to the veil size guide that i that i posted earlier on in the video and that is also going to help as well so after i'm done gathering i'm just going ahead to secure my stitches with a knot since it's a hand stitching work you can go ahead and use uh, your machine if you want but since this is a simple tutorial we just use needle and thread so after you are done the next step is to wrap the comb and then attach it to the veil so this is a part where um the wrong side and the right side of the veil comes into play okay so let's just pay attention to what i'm doing and then you're going to understand so you're going to need about um 15 inches of the veil strip so the length is going to be 15 inches and then the wideness can be about three inches yes so you're just going to wrap it around the comb just as i'm doing so you can just watch what i'm doing carefully and you're going to understand it's very simple okay after you are done with the wrapping be sure to cut off any excesses and then you're going to secure this with some stitches so that's what i'm doing i'm just cutting off the excess and i'm going to stitch the end down so you have to be sure to do this as well You have to be sure to stitch over and over and over again several times in order to prevent your wrappings from coming off so you need to secure that stitch very well so just as i'm doing you need to do the same thing so that your wrappings can be secured after you are done your comb is now ready to be inserted into the veil this part can be very tricky and confusing sometimes because the comb has a way of sitting on the veil. If you don't get a certain right, the veil is not going to sit properly on your bride's head. It's going to come off every 10 seconds. So this is the part where your wrong side and the right side of the veil comes in. So here, my wrong side is facing me, okay? And then the part that I wrap is facing the blusher side and then the comb itself is facing the longer part of the veil in a concave manner so you know the 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 comb is a bit curvy okay so the part that is curvy is going to slip on top of the wrong side just as it's seen on the screen because if the the comb doesn't sit well it's going to be a problem it won't sit well on your bride it's going to look funny i don't know if there's a better way for me to explain this but i think this is the best i can do so you can keep on trying practicing make mistakes and then you learn from it because i still find difficulty in getting this part correct all the time so here i'm just trying to decorate the parts that i wrapped with some stones and some pearls you can do that with lace you can do that with anything you want to and you're good to go and your veil is ready to be worn by your bride so here's my bride wearing her veil this is the only video that i got but she looked absolutely stunning and she loved it when she came for fitting everything was perfect 
so this is the end of my tutorial i hope you liked it you enjoyed it please like share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching and i'm gonna see you in my next video until next time bye